Diddy is a predator. He's a predator. That's not, and that's how predators are. His apology was a predator apology. Like, these people will not stop until they are brought to their knees. And I think it's a universal thing. Like, it's a million things that got to happen for it because their egos are so, you know, I'm God, I can do what I want. But That's what it is. Shit, he thinking bro. shit don't stink. Like, how y'all feel about his apology, though? Like, I think it's a bullshit-ass apology, for real. Like, you wouldn't have apologized if it didn't come out. If the video didn't come out, you wouldn't have said shit. It was a narcissistic I mean, script. I'm going to go to therapy. I'm sorry. AKA, I'm sorry I got caught. I'll never do it again. As soon as you forgive me, I'm going to do it, though. As soon as you forgive me, I'm going to do it. I got something else up my sleeve. Like, don't trust it. And so you see them in therapy. That's a the person that really wants to get help, but I bet you they won't be there. That's how you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He ain't going to pull up in no damn therapy. Nope. You know what I mean? At least not on TV. You think he's going to get it's just, a, it's, it's just a whole <clears throat> rich, powerful man thing, man. I'm going to say he ain't the only one that's doing that stuff. He's just the only one that's right. they shining the light on right now. But yeah. <clears throat> on the conspiracies, do you think does okay. have anything to do because clearly he's been doing this for a long time and if all this would have jumped or would have originally dropped don't you think it would have dropped during the whole me too movement and do you think it has anything to do with this whole lawsuit that he had going on that's worth billions because when you start when you start messing with the billionaires especially the white billionaires that's when they start attacking your, your that's image. a narrative too that's a narrative Cause I not, think it was not saying that he didn't do it, right? That he didn't do it, and not saying, but like uh, they covered his shit until he was like trying to come at them about some shit, and then it was like, oh, word. Yeah. Well, I think it's like a perfect storm because if he was doing all that in the background, it's still like cause is always going to equal effect. So he has that effect coming, and then he had that support, and then because of the effect, it took the support out, so it balances it out in the end. It's interesting he said that though too, because it's like, yo, that was something that people were saying. Like, he was about to go against the corporations that was doing the, the I think it was his his liquor companies or something like that. So they was like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was but, charging them with like, I guess they was blackballing them, like charging them with racism. So that's been a whole big thing. But like, uh, then he got some good lawyers because apparently he can't get charged for none of this, but. He's he's already being judged by the world now. Public That's opinion, man. Like <laughs> the public ain't gonna f with you. Yeah, right. his shit is stained bad, especially everything after that video. Everything Definitely. he's done is written, and I would say a spiritual record, right? Let's say everything we do is recorded. It's somewhere. Someone saw it, heard it. It's been noted. And you gotta pay for that. I think it's crazy. I, I, all the recordings he got, I feel like he got. I feel like he got some stuff on some, some real powerful people. <laughs> That's the thing too. Like they were saying that you know the the way they came in there, with them like that much force. Excuse me. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, they, yeah, you, have... you see how much force was used on a rapper? Like what? A, what? A, you didn't see none of that force on nobody with the Epstein list, and we didn't get nothing from that. Nothing. nothing. Hush, yeah, not at all. Wow, wild. And he had powerful people at them parties that had no clue they were getting recorded. So imagine what they want to recover in those, you know, what I mean, documents that could yeah. be possibly on camera. That's that's and, deep. That, and 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 it shows you its levels to this because it's you have rich and powerful black men, and then you have rich and powerful white, and you you can see the levels of the rich and the powerful. How they press them, you know what I mean? Yeah, how stuff just get <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> I mean, it's it's swept under the rug type shit. Like it ain't even. Yeah, you man. The, the game, you know, or you gotta go by the rules. Certain rules you can't escape. One thing oh, I did man. pick up though <laughs> is the way they pressing this is kind of like R. Kelly. Good. They got the I Netflix shit. Fifty Cent just he did the damn did. Netflix deal for the he Diddy did. Do It or whatever. Yeah. He got, he got, got the cool shit. Ending. They already got the shit on Tubi. They they arresting all the good music. God damn it. <laughs> and you know what else? <laughs> like the Drake's and the sexy reds. <laughs> <laughs> and then they collaborate. Bad bitch energy. It was the- <laughs> oh, no. 
But check this shit out, bro. They talk about uh, radio stations are considering dropping all bad boy music. Damn. Can't do that. That's bad. Yeah. What? He's killing his legacy, bro. What? Like, the legacy is just tarnished. We can't hear 112 or total anymore. What? We just had a little mix on of and I and Total was on. I was like, bro, and, and Diddy was in a lot of them damn songs. It was like, bro, he's in Total skits. He's in, <laughs> like, he on mad shit, bro. Like, there ain't no escape from yeah. Diddy when it come to Bad Boy. You know, when, when it when it comes to revolutionizing hip hop, you can't not put Diddy's name in there. So it's kind of hard. <laughs> it's like, like Diddy, he pushed. Our music. He was one of the people to lay it out, especially in early nineties, two thousands. Hell because yeah! Someone was pushing him though. It wasn't really him, and that's that's the part that's really messed up. Like we have to accept responsibility. You know the the dead press line. Who's got control of your mind? The music you listen to. When we think of that, like why did we give this man the standing? Because they put him. They positioned this man, and we accepted mm. him. We ate that. They do that with every <laughs> artist that they that they make up top. They push them to show them, like just keep feeding them to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and One, it, and we want to circle back to what Kendrick was saying. He was saying he was like, it's a lot of weird stuff going on, and you pushing that agenda. <laughs> they gonna yeah. protect who they protect. You 